A woman is dead and communities are shocked following a tractor malfunction at the Union County West End Fair. The Somerset County mother left behind two children and a husband. People who knew her are reflecting on who she was as a person. They talked with our Stoker wise Zork. He joins us live with more on this story. Stoker. Jen and Sean, it was on Friday when 33-year-old Brandy Horner was attending the county fair's tractor pull, a malfunction in one of the vehicle's engines claiming her life. People who knew her are remembering who she was. And through different events, we would work together. Mm -hmm. And her son, her youngest son, actually went here for our four-year-old preschool program. And that's when I really got to know Brandy. Officials say Brandy Horner of Connemaw Township was hit in the neck by debris from one of the vehicle's engines on a vehicle competing in the Union County West End Fair's tractor pull. She was pronounced dead at the Evangelical Community Hospital at 923 Friday night. The director of one of her child's preschool programs, Jen Persinski, says she leaves behind an impact of kindness and support. She was in the child care field, so she knew how tough it could be. So just, like I said, her little gestures of gifts and just asking what she could do. And I know that she was a big part of her preschool program where she worked, um, working with the preschoolers and the families there as well. People who knew Horner say she loved working with kids. I know a lot of the teachers that worked with her, um, Facebook is blowing up that, you know, they're just devastated and she pretty much raised their children and she did such a great job with them. Persinski says she created a donation for the family on the church's social media page. She says she didn't expect the level of support that came and thanks the people who are coming forward. And then within 24 hours, everything just blew up and I got so many calls and emails, um, people wanting to donate to her family. For more information or to donate to Horner's family, resources can be found on our website at WJACTV.com. Reporting live in the newsroom, Stoker Wise Oryx 6 News.